What's up, ladies and gents? I'm Strano One, your host, and welcome back to more Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain No Traces walkthrough. So, we're going to continue on with the next mission. It is not going to be episode 2, it's going to be episode 3, and I know it's going to be confusing to some people, but that is mainly because you cannot do episode number 2, or should I say mission number 2. Select a mission. No Traces. So with that being said, it is time to move on to mission number three, A Hero's Way. Now, mission I am not going to be starting this mission from the helicopter, as you will have a better chance of pulling it off if you start from Afghanistan. But I at least want to show you guys what I'm going to be equipping for myself as we head into uh, the environment. So forget all of this. This is just mainly here just to show you... Um, exactly what we're going to be what we're going to be using to go into the mission so i've tried to take away some of my primary weapons um, even though i'm not using any of them you still have to have one primary weapon equipped and i've got the water pistol for the other one so we're going to be going in with the sneaking suit for snake uh that and we're going to be doing this at nighttime. that way it gives us a better opportunity to be stealthy we're going to be able to get through this really quick uh, because this is not a long or difficult mission at all. But I wanted to give you guys some substance into each mission as to tell you guys why I'm going with the certain equipment that I'm going with or the certain um, uniform that I'm going with as well. And we're going to be using D-Horse also. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoy and it's go time. Alright ladies and gents, here we go. We are back with more Metal Gear Solid 5. This is episode 3, and, uh, but it's part 2. Your target should be somewhere in that outpost. And don't forget, he has a Spetsnaz recon detail with him. Keep your guard up. Don't be confused by that, because uh, the second mission you couldn't do, remember? There you go. Target secured. I'll tell the client we sent the target to a place outside of heaven. Boss, your objective's complete. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. Don't hang around. So as you can see, some of these missions are going to be very, very quick. But that's pretty much a very, very simplistic, easy mission to pick up. And we just need to get out of the mission area, and it is done. Alright, you're out of the hot zone. No enemy forces in pursuit. Mission complete. Tell stories about this one, boss. 
Yes, they will. All right, complete in two minutes and 36 seconds. I know that's a very, very short video. But again, some of these missions can be done uh, rather quickly depending on where you start. We're always going to get the best advantage point. Remember that once you're in the chopper, you have to go through the long process of choppering in. So sometimes it's actually better to already be in the world of Afghanistan or in, in, in the area and then kind of go to where the mission's start point is. And that way you can get to your objectives really, really quick. As you can see, it's it can be done very, very quickly. Um, and especially since we have the the worm, wormhole Fulton system, which allows us to be able to uh, Fulton guys that are inside. And that helps us out a lot when you're trying to get no traces. So I definitely recommend not going for no traces until after you've completed the game. That way you've built up enough kind of uh, weapons and, and, and all this equipment, mainly equipment that you need in order to pull these kind of things off. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know very, very, very short video, but thank you for the love, excuse me, thank you for the love and support. Remember, the quicker these videos will come out means uh, the, the more you guys like and comment on each video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, I will see you next time. Peace out.